Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the corner of my bedroom. If you're new here, hello, my name is Chinzia. And if you're not new here, and you're one of my lovely regulars, hi, how are you? I hope you're doing splendidly. So today, as you can tell, we're in a different location because I thought I'd share with you my new and improved PhD work setup, which has kindly been supported by Flexispot, who sent me a standing desk in exchange for an honest review over on a video, which I will give. I am someone who has been skeptical for years about the benefits of a standing desk, purely based on the scientific evidence and claims out there. So I said yes to exchange and I've been using this desk for over a month now. And I'm going to share with you all of my honest opinions about what I think about this desk and how I've adapted it as a PhD student who has ADHD and dyslexia, because I think that there are personal benefits to this that aren't related to scientific studies, which I shall share with you. But first, let me share with you uh, my scepticism about standing desks, particularly in the productivity bro world, which I've covered a lot in the past on my channel when I entered that sphere. There are claims that I have debunked, etc. And one of the claims that many people give about standing desks is that they are quote unquote healthier for you. And we all know that we sit far too much. And even those of us who are active, such as myself, who exercises every day, that miniature amount of exercise, such as half an hour to an hour, doesn't actually outdo the eight plus hours that we spend sitting throughout the day, whether it's reading, watching television or working. So what is the point of a standing desk then, if there is very little evidence to prove any benefits to it? And why did I actually want to try out this desk? Because of dubiousness. This I had to make a, a space out here. Originally there was a bike here that I stored, but I've actually stored it in this cupboard behind me by standing it up and it works very well. And now I have this desk and I love this desk. After over a month, actually maybe two months now of using this desk, um, I am absolutely in love with it. And I love having this space for my PhD work. But the reasons why I love this desk and all the features of it are very different from the ones that the productivity gurus will tell you about. So I'm gonna share what I have found using a standing desk. Firstly, this is the sturdiest desk I've ever used. It's a hefty desk. When it arrived, I was incredibly impressed at that I could actually pick it up and carry it up the stairs. It is over 100 kilograms and I'm only five foot one. So this may look quite small to most people because obviously the desk does not have to go much higher than this. So when I got this desk, I intended for it to be entirely a PhD desk. I didn't want any kind of distractions such as a massive desktop, etc. However, this desk is sturdy enough to handle it. it. It's an incredibly weighty desk and you can easily put your body weight on it and not be affected by it either. So if you feel like you're leaning forward a bit, it's insanely steady, particularly when it's moving up and down. This desk is an electronic standing desk and we have a panel here where you can operate it to go higher or lower. And what's brilliant about this feature is that you can actually set three different levels. My one is my sitting level, my two is my preferred standing level, and my three is actually a little bit higher. And I'm going to play it for you now to listen to how silently this thing moves, because again, I thought it'd be really noisy and that's a major factor that I care about, particularly owning two very small dogs that get nervous easily, the one gets nervous easily. So I'm going to showcase the noise to you now as it raises a wee bit. That's it. And you can go as high, much higher than this as you want, obviously it just keep moving up and down and but you have settings. So obviously this is stupidly high for someone like myself, but it's perfect height for someone who is much taller than myself and they are standing here. But what's genius about it going back down again is that I have my settings. So I have my setting for my one and it will take itself to the exact position that I worked out that I liked when I was sitting down on my chair. And for my standing as well, it will stop perfectly at my spot. So number two is my perfect height. So this is it at its normal level. And then if I want it back at my standing height that I had at the beginning of this video, then it's bringing it back up and it will stop in place without me having to faff around each time and it will memorize where it goes. That I love. And in all honesty, I stand here far more than I sit. I actually haven't used it as a sitting desk at all, only when I was experimenting for this video and when I first got it, but I've maintained it at this height the entire time. And this is why I love it. And again, these are my experiences with a standing desk and why I'm choosing to have a standing desk as a PhD student, but they're not backed up by scientific claims. The first thing I love about this is obviously I have ADHD, as I mentioned, and as a standing desk, I found it much more enjoyable to read with ADHD 
on this desk. So I find myself concentrating far better than I would if I were sitting down because I get tired very easily when I'm reading because of dyslexia. And also I can fidget around a lot more. When you're using a standing desk, you need to have something underneath your feet. This can be, obviously you can wear indoor shoes that are very supportive of your feet, but most people recommend an anti-fatigue mat that you use. Now these can be quite expensive. I actually own a, a yoga mat that's very foamy and I've just ended up rolling it around and as you can see right now I'm bouncing on it and as an ADHD person I find bouncing quite soothing and when I'm working I can bounce around a lot and it keeps my anxious energy <laughs> as at a go. So I end up working here bouncing away quite happily and I find that far more enjoyable than sitting. Another thing that I experience as, again, this is very niche, as a small person, most times, most desks are too high for me and my feet don't touch the floor. This can be incredibly uncomfortable. If you are a small person, you will know how uncomfortable it is. And my feet are just dangling there and that can become quite tiring. And to alleviate that, you know, tired feeling in my legs, I tend to sit cross-legged and this is terrible terrible for my posture because again I'm leaning forward I'm cross-legged and it causes so much pain in my legs in a long-term effect so I found standing much better for me and my posture and just comfort in general because also when I have the sitting feature I can actually have my feet on the floor with this desk which is so rare another thing is again perhaps this is a, a wee bit too um <laughs> uh niche uh, but again it's something that I love is that because I'm standing it's much easier for me to get up and go around and grab any books that I need whereas when I'm sitting down I'm very reluctant to get up for multiple reasons the first one is the noise it makes again as you can hear in the background I have a dog I have two dogs and they sit around my feet when I am working when I get up to go and get a book, the dogs get excited and it makes such a big fuss of me pulling back my chair and going away that they follow me. They, do, they are woken by the noise that I make pulling my chair back or they are personally affected by me pulling my chair back. When I'm standing, I have found that I don't disturb my dogs as much, which means they stay completely silent, still fast asleep or doing their own thing. They're not affected by me moving to walk to another room to get a book. And I found myself working so much better being able to just go immediately without having the faff of getting up, which sounds like such a basic thing. Like the idea of like, you're too lazy to stand up, but seriously, it was such an inconvenience for me to stand up that I would put off. I was like, I don't want to wake up the dog. I don't want to disturb them. I don't want them to start barking. So I won't get up to go get that book. Again, that's a very niche thing. But perhaps if you're a parent and you have something like very similar circumstances, you may find this is the same thing for you as well. And again, I've set my desk up to be purely for myself. So right now I have my laptop on my desk because I'm recording audio for this video, but normally I wouldn't have my laptop here. It would be a rare occasion. Uh, I like to have this space in my house to be completely indistractable as it were. Uh, it's not the most glorious part of my house. It's very dark <laughs> technically here. I am facing a blank wall with some artwork on the walls to keep me entertained, to make it feel more homely. Um, but in all of due effect, this isn't the nicest part of my house that I don't normally spend much time here. And I feel like having a desk has just made it perfect for studying. Uh, as you can see, I've set it up for my dyslexia as well. So I have my dyslexia reading cards um, that I just keep on my desk here. And just having everything I need here on the desk is perfect for me. It is wide enough to have multiple books, which is something my other desk doesn't, you know, accommodate to. My other desk is very small. It obviously has a computer on there and a keyboard, and I'm always faffing around, shifting things. Whereas here, I have the perfect amount of space. There's no electronics that I have to keep moving out of my way. It is purely for my books and my writing. And I find that my posture has completely improved standing here writing all day long. I'm not having to bend over and crouch over all the time on my desk just to write down a few bullet points. Here I can just read away and I find my concentration at its peak and also I'm more willing to work here. Obviously I'm able-bodied and I'm able to stand for longer periods of time but if you're someone who wants to incorporate a standing desk into your life and you have to sit down more regularly this transition is so quick that it's so easy for you to transition from standing to sitting within a few seconds without it being a faft, which is something you don't experience with like cheaper manual standing desks uh, that I have tried in the past, not in my own home, but in other people's places. Uh, I hated them. <laughs> I hated how much of a faft they were. And with a manual desk, I didn't want to get up and do the whole cranking and making a big commotion. Whereas here, I just have to hit a button and it goes down within a few seconds and I'm in my ideal positions. Also, this 
all the wiring, they give you all the equipment to tuck the wires away underneath the desk. So I don't have a mass of dangling wires everywhere. It is purely tucked along in the little metal grids in between the desk and it's nice and neat. And I like keeping this desk uh, an internet free zone. I obviously have internet access in my home, but in this area, I'm not affected by distractions. And to have an isolated area away from the rest of my workspace is helping me separate the two. I didn't realize how much I needed a separate space. Doing my work and all my free time and also my PhD on the same desk all day, every day, was draining me. I needed to separate the spaces. I don't have a big space. I cannot express how much I love this desk. So my shy little puppy here, who's not afraid of my desk, is going to say, if you'd like to have a go at having one of these desks of your own, then please use the link in the description box down below. It's not an affiliate link, but I was sent this desk for free in exchange for an honest review. And that is my honest review. Thank you, FlexiSpot, for giving me the opportunity to use a standing desk. I am a standing desk convert. I had no idea that would ever be a thing. <laughs> I had no idea that I would be one of those people with a standing desk. Yet here I am. So the little puppy says, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed my little setup and behind the scenes of where I'm working. And until next time, I'll see you soon for another ancient history video. And remember, books save lives, so keep reading.